what's going on y'all welcome back to another that reaction in the form of paul triple h levesque or the game the cerebral assassin triple h is is not being put in charge of head of creative and so you know there's been speculations on whether or not that's a you know if it's going to you know, be a good thing, bad things are gonna help the product. And I'm gonna give you my opinion on it after I read this article. So let's check this. Let's see what this all this come by the way of IGN and it says Paul Triple H Levesque is taking over WWE Creative as Vince McMahon's after Vince McMahon's departure. The popular wrestling returned to WWE. It says Paul Levesque, aka Triple H, has been named the new head of WWE Creative. The move comes amid a management shakeup at WWE after former CEO Vince McMahon announced his retirement earlier this month. WWE executive Paul Levesque will assume all responsibilities related to WWE's creative and addition to his regular duties. Um, the official statement reads. Um, those original duties with uh, him returning back to being also on top of that he he returned to his duties as head of title relations. Um, my man ran the WWE form, uh, formerly the WWF since 1982, monopolizing the wrestling industry and establishing numerous uh, high profile events, including bringing the first WrestleMania to Madison Square Garden in 1985. It says, however, the man came under recently uh, came under fire recently with allegations of misconduct and stepped down from his role as WWE CEO last month. I have pledged my complete cooperation to the investigation by a special uh, committee, and I will do everything possible to support the investigation. The man said in a statement, "I have also pledged to accept the findings of the outcome." Of the investigation, uh, whatever they are. Although my man was originally expected to retain his career duties at WWE, he since has announced his retirement. And then just the rest of this is just talking about things we already know about his retirement already. So I'm not going to read that part because it's just the same stuff that we already know. It's just his tweet about his retirement. Um, it says he has since been replaced by. Uh, replaced as CEO by his daughter Stephanie McMahon, who joins as co CEO alongside the president Nick Khan. On the creative side, McMahon has now been replaced by Russell Triple H, who was head of WWE's creative content. It was also just announced uh, a few days ago that Levesque would resume his duties as executive vice president of talent relations. I look forward to returning to my prior position as had time relations. I'm healthy, fired up, and ready to take charge, said Levesque in the statement. Um, I think that was the rest of that. Yeah, it just says, what this shakeup means for WWE remains to be seen, but with a man stepping away from the company, it start, it's the start of a new era, whichever way you look at it. Which is true. Which is true. This is definitely the start of a new era. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely the start of a new era. Um, my thing is, does this mean that the product will get better? Is this, is, what the ch is this the change that we need? You know, just like how they consider doing TV 14. Is this the change that we need? Is this the change that's going to make it better? Ah. Uh, don't know. Could it definitely? He's definitely. We definitely felt it. We felt. We felt the potential of what it could be. We definitely felt Triple H's presence on Monday. On Monday. So yeah. Could the product be better? Yeah. I, it definitely could be. Could going to him being in charge and it going back to TV fourteen be a good thing? Yeah. But only, but only time will tell because that's only part of the problem. There's a lot more problems that that he has. The booking, the way how the treatment of the stars and stuff like and stuff like that. The end, and when I say booking, you will hear this on Wrestle Talk or any other place. I mean inconsistent booking. They they don't cons 
but consistently. And an example is that is your champions, like the way how they book Roman Reigns, all champions are supposed to be booked to that of a certain degree. At least all the, all the main champions, like Roman Reigns, Liv Morgan, and Bianca Belair, all should be booked the same. Now, granted, you can say the United States and the Intercontinental Championship, but somewhat similar to that, they the ones who could who could take a loss here and there and, and, and it'll fit the story, but they still have to be booked at least consistently to win uh, matches or and be protected. And sometimes you don't have that. Like Austin Theory should be a superstar that's protected, but he's been taking heavy losses right now. You know, it's, it's just consistent booking. It's booking that makes sense. Making it so fun. It's a lot more wrong than just the creative side of it, you know. But this is a step in the right direction. It definitely is. But you let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this development from WWE. And if you enjoyed this video, you hit this button right there in the upper right corner for all of my WWE reviews. And if you enjoy this video so much, you want to support the channel, you know what to do. Hit those buttons. And as always, hit any one of the videos for more of my amazing content without going anywhere. Because I got more coming your way. Peace out.